Okay, so I, I guess we'll start with um, – want to start with the NHL or the NBA? It doesn't matter. Uh, it's up to you. I mean, the, so NHL doesn't have the live sims at the oh, moment. So NBA – no, it doesn't – we're not running – Lot, we're we're not running live simulations as the games are going on for NHL. Um, okay, so. so so what do I do? So 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 let's say that I wanted to take advantage of the new tools, whatever it is. That, uh, everything's uploaded. My contests are in here. Cool. Yeah. I mean, so right off the bat, so you can see this SS Live column here, right to the left of my proj. So right. those are the projections now. A little weird with Jalen Smith Smith getting scratched tonight. Um, but those are the projections now running for the live games in progress. So basically every couple minutes, I think it's like every five minutes of the game, we're taking what has happened so far and rerunning a new simulation now. What do we expect that player's new mean to be? So Bucks off to a slow start tonight. You can see Cameron Payne. Now, just with the information we have through the game so far, is projected for 23.65. Um, a guy like Miles Turner is going to be projected kind of closer to the bottom of the screen. You can see his live projection is now 41.45. Uh, so that information there is coming in in live now. And, um, and when you say live, so yeah. if I don't do anything, will it automatically update or do I have to hit refresh? Uh it will automatically update as new live simulations are running. So this one that you're looking at here, I think just ran uh, a few minutes ago. Um, so they will run and automatically update. I think it's like every five minutes of each game. Uh, and, and, so. and it will just like flash on my screen? Like I don't have to hit refresh or anything? Or No, you don't have to refresh for the live projections. They are... Uh, it's not entirely clear when a new one runs um, to be totally honest. So we could, we could do a little bit better there to make it clearer that it's like, Hey, a new one just updated, but no, they will, they will just update throughout the slate. Um, I don't believe you have to, to refresh them at all. Actually, no, no, of course my, my, my obvious point here is that it still has Jalen Smith getting 19.86. Yeah. So that's something right now we are not handling perfectly well with the live Sims it, only in the event of a late scratch. So if we think that a player was going to play the game locks and starts, uh, we assume that that player is still in the game. So that does get a little weird only is going to end up showing up with late scratches but no, yeah. it's so funny i want to i want to share something with you um i spoke i spoke with andy a couple of like a week or so ago i haven't spoken to him in like a while like that maybe yeah. a year or something like that and i haven't caught up with him so i was asking him um uh i don't know if i'll include this in the recording or if it, i was asking him i was like um, it was weird to me like how like three months ago no site had contest sims and then all of a sudden yeah like, Everybody had them. And I was asking him, like, if, was there some, like, like uh, invention or something, or there's some technological thing that all of a sudden clicked and everybody could just hit the button and just kind of make these things? Or was it more of an industry thing? And he kind of told me, like, the history of you guys negotiating with Stochastic to maybe they wanted you to power theirs and all, all this kind of stuff. And it just seems like all of it's, it went from nobody had them. Yeah. All of a sudden, kind of everybody had them. And it's really funny. The, the reason I bring it up is if you're going to show me where everything is, is you know, there's there's a lot of different opinions on 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 the usefulness of them and how accurate they are and whether it's worth using and stuff like that. And it's really funny because I you I gave this example to uh, to Andy when he was I, he was trying to to explain how yours was better than this, who was better than this, who was better than this. I'm like Andy, you don't seem to you don't seem to get it, right? These things have been live for for like two weeks, and I want to mm -hmm. show you something. I don't know. This is not going to mean anything to you, Jordan. All Maybe. right. Did you, you ever play poker or no? I was never. No, okay. I'm not a poker guy. So, okay. but so with this, is, through it. this was this was my one of my little sites back when I back when I ran my poker site. My, my poker. Yeah. Site. I had these little tools that I created. Okay, and I created them back in 2006 when mm -hmm. and this stuff back when I created literally nobody had like these yeah. are these are like push fold charts and shove call charts and stuff that so far like ahead of their time and I created them literally swear to god with my my two-year-old's crayon yeah on the, on the way to Florida like on the back of his coloring book I did like the algebra and stuff and 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 the reason I bring this up is like three years from now like all of this was just completely outdated, you know. Yeah. What I mean? Like, and and the people did like game theory optimal stuff, all kinds of apps. Half of them stole this stuff from me, but whatever. But they made it so much better. And it's so funny. I go back and look at this stuff, and back then this was like state of the art. And now to look at this is like almost laughable. Yeah. And I get up because I said, Andy, don't even worry about it because in two years you're gonna look back on what you have now 
and you're going to laugh. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. No, you're, that's totally you're gonna, true. You're going to say in two years that this stuff that we put out on November 9, 2023, I was like embarrassed that we thought that this was what it is. You know, so so don't worry about it. There's little tweaks, if there's little things or whatever, because this is literally the first rollout of this stuff. And it's not mm -hmm. even going to almost resemble what it's going to be in two years. And that's when people say, oh, my God, this is like ruining ruining uh, the ecosystem. It's not doing, you know, this is nothing. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, this, so where we were a year ago, it's almost laughable right now. Is, right? I mean, there were things that. It, so, that so, what, so what am I looking at? So here's a question I have. Yeah. Am I able to look at my lineups and see what they're supposed to win? Like right now. Uh, yeah, you probably can. Let's try it. So if you click contests at the top and now click into one of those there, let's use, let's use the fade away. Okay. So just click the actual link. Yep, just click the link. Yep. And what this is going to do, and again, this is, it's going to be for a moment in time, but this is going yeah. to start ranking lineups based on from the information that we have. So right now you're looking at actual rank. So you can see that sorting in the oh, so upper these aren't mine. This is like the whole contest. No, so this is the whole contest. Yeah. So this is just, this is what we know so far. Uh, this should and, be and top I can rank in the contest. These by, so this is in first right now. Yeah. So you and can rank these. Be, oh, and now I can rank these by ROI, I guess, right? Yeah. So rank it by, I mean, give it, let's try live. So one thing, once the slate is locked, you want to use the live ones because that's going to account for the most recent information. So live sim ROI. All right, um, uh, okay. So it's actually the same guy somehow. It looks yeah it looks and then it's like also it number is two here. is the guy with jalen smith I, i'm 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 not a, i'm not a believer well and that's again because the live sim is assuming that he is right, in he's there. gonna have 19 um, okay. yeah right, right. Got it. so um and it's possible that the contest sim here has not run for the full contest yet because these um do me a favor here expand the column that says players and then click users up at the top um okay so it doesn't okay so it's we're not we actually haven't run a contest sim yet for this okay okay slate yet. so as the slate goes along those will start to run and you'll be able to do that for the showdown it happens pretty quickly for example for nfl later tonight Got uh, it. For the showdown that does happen pretty quickly i think maybe it has something to do with us because we don't know i think you i think the problem is i think we need to know what everybody's player is like we yes. we don't know the rest of the players in these lineups yet, so it doesn't make sense to simulate the lineups. Well, it does. That's the thing. Like that. Well, it does. Yes, and that and we so we've started talking about that of like how can we predict what players are actually going Absolutely. to be in these remaining spots? We certainly and, can. So let's actually talk about that real quick. So let's go back to a build because we are starting to do that here. So. Um, let me show you something. Like you want me to go to one of them? Yeah, go back to like one of them that you actually use to fill something. I just want to see the player table again here. Okay. I think this is it. All okay. right. I think this is the most recent. How do I tell if this is the most recent, by the way? That's another good question. Uh I mean build build two should definitely be it's more recent than build one. Yeah, you can cover six it. Six. Yeah. This one's built six. Oh, six forty two. See? So there you go. Yeah. So okay. So one of the things we are doing here, and leave that, uh, let, let's collapse the settings panel again here, um, the way you had it a second ago. Yeah, right there. So this ownership column, so if you click that gear next to uh, my ownership here. So I know you've got custom ownership in here. I just want to show you this, though. So these Sabersim live ownerships. So what these are actually doing is as soon as the slate locks, we're checking out a contest for each of these types. So the flagship, the big $4, uh, you know, the, the mini max as the low stakes MME, all of these different, we have a representative contest for each of these. We're actually pulling in the information we have from those contests so far, the real actual ownership projections from players, and then rebuilding ownership and field lineups that you use in your contest sims for each of these different contests. So to your point about, you know, you can actually figure out a little bit like what what are the possible players that people could be playing in these rest of these lineups. We are actually doing that here with the live ownership and on on a bigger slate, like on a slate where we had another round of games locked nine minutes ago, we would have been updating that with for those games. And then so what if there right were games here. That I see flagship MME live. Yeah. So those should match up for the players whose games have already locked. If, if I click on this. Whoa, wait a minute. I don't want to do that. Yeah, so 
So if I clicked on that, oh, so it's so it's asking me if I want to run a, a new sim. It's, a, it's asking you if you want to remove your custom ownerships and switch to the live okay. ownerships of the flagship. Yeah, let's do that. It will reset my projections. Uh, it should be only ownership. Well, let's see what happens. You, that's correct. Okay, good. Okay, so it kept the projections in. Yeah. And it and and it updated the my own to match the flagship own. Okay, match there the it flagship. is. Okay, yeah, there, there you go. Or the projected flagship own. So this is com combining. This is so this would be Cameron that Payne's actual ownership, and this is Okongwu's new projected ownership based ba on everything else. Based okay. on what we know from the game that is locked so far. Yeah, and behind that is a a new field which matches exactly. The, the, the new field, if you were to run a contest sim now using the flagship as your field lineups, will be the actual lineups that contain well, players well, from the well, Bucks. You know what? Let's 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 do that then. So so cool. so so let's also uh since I didn't run new projected uh I didn't run new projections, and it's probably going to now wait a minute. So if I run a new contest sim. Mm -hmm. Is it going to use my custom projection or the actual for the pay people that started already? It or will do one. So there is a setting in your contest sim settings. It will be on by default. And what it will say is, well, I can just show you actually. Here, let me see. Con uh, so if you contest sim settings. Yep. And then just click the pencil icon next to either of these contest sim settings here. Okay, so at the bottom here, use live sims if available. Uh, when that is on, and it is on by default, that then will use the live on. sims. Right. It combines them. Yep, live sims for games in progress, your custom projections for games. Oh, that's awesome. Starting. Okay. Yeah. That was my next question. Okay. Yep. So, so will you leave that as default? And I would leave those as default all the time because all you're saying in those situations is for the games that have already started, use the live information that you have to save your sim. Right. Um, use my information for everything else, but use the live information that you already have. Um, okay, so, so, so normally, what I would what I would call a build like this is a late swap. Yeah. Yep. If that's so, still what we're doing. Are we still going up to here? Yep. So we can start this. We're not, so, just, we're not just coming to here first. We're going straight to here. No. Yeah. So we'll rebuild first here. So you get late swap players out of lineups, right? Yes. Um, right. And you might want to, yeah, well, go ahead and do that first. Well, what um, were you gonna say? I was going to say we might want to, oh, no, it's not going to matter. I was going to say we might want to zero Jalen Smith out, but. Um, yeah, I got two hours to fix this anyway. So okay, cool. No problem. All right, yeah, so let's but late this swap is, it. But this is, I didn't do, so far, it took me a while to figure out where the where the thing was. So this is late swap right here. That is correct, yep. So we click this and select them, and now we hit late swap two contests. Yep. And we do that. And now we are here. Okay, yes. so now what has happened is my projection has now become the Saberson projections. Yes, um, you can retain them if you want. Um, what if I didn't want? Yeah, yeah. What if what if I wanted my? And I, this, I was going to mention. What if I at this point I wanted my old. Not these, because these the ones are already locked. You know what I mean? Uh, so what you'll want to do for that instead is we have to go back to this build here. And then right click that build tab at the top. Or something or and then late swap that build. Oh, okay. Very oh, excellent. Okay. So, and uh, this is definitely a little confusing. We know that we're planning on cleaning this up as well. Um, but it is a uh, so, so if I want to use the my own projections, but still keep you know make use of everything else, you'd want right, to do it that way. We're not gonna right click, we're gonna just late just left regular right. click it. And now it's gonna ask you the same thing. What contests? And now let's see what this does. Oh, so now oh very so now this is gonna take you over here like that. Oh wait, but the the live one. Okay, so good. So the live it's still taking. Oh no, it's not. Well, so it's a little again another thing that's a little visually confusing here. When we go to because you can't you can't actually remove players whose games have already started. Right. 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 So the projections themselves for players who have already started don't matter. 
Okay. What will happen is when you, you run the contest. That's, why they're, so sort, that's why they're sort of shaded. Yes, exactly. Okay, okay. So they can't be, you can't have, you can't get more or less Cameron Payne than you started with. But when you run the contest sim, we will grade the Cameron Payne lineups differently based on how he's performing, which is apparently not great so far. Right. Okay. So now we're now we're here. Yep. And and I would probably, if it were me, see, I have two, I have three green things that you know. Yeah. Yeah. So for me, I would probably click build lineups. Yeah, uh, I, that's the right idea. I would take a look at your build settings first here um, real quick and just oh. make sure that this all looks good. So, yeah. So one thing worth noting is uh, the swaps per lineup. Ooh, what is that? That is that is a different way to describe pool size. Um, that is basically saying how many times do you want to swap each of your originals? So right now, is this, you have 41 original lineups. It's set to swap each 10 times. Give you, you 10. Swap them 10 times. Give you 10 different new versions that that lineup could become. Oh, okay. All right, whatever. Okay. You can make that larger if you want. What's, 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 what's stand? I mean, what's, what's the best practice? What do people usually do? I mean, I, what I typically do is I make it as large as I can where pool size does not exceed 5,000. Um, the exception to that rule would be that you're short on time and you need to get this build in quickly. Well, wait a minute. So what does that mean? So, so if I like, so try setting that, try setting swaps per lineup to 5,000. Well, but wait, it says the pool size is 410. Right. Which is because you have four, 41 original lineups and we're going to swap each one 10 times. Okay. So what do you want me to put in here? Just put 5,000 in. 5,000 swaps per lineup. Yeah. It's going to auto adjust in a second here. Okay. So what this is saying, we can only build up to 5,000 lineups at a time. That's just okay. the Saberson maximum there. Okay. This is saying you can swap each of your 41 lineups up to 121 times each you mean that's before you reach. There are, you mean? There will, yeah, there will be, in theory, it's a two-game slate. There may be lineups that we can't swap that many times, okay. but Saberson is going to try to build you 121 different swap options per original lineup you played. Okay, and everything else I'd probably keep the same, I imagine. Yeah, everything else looks the same. And then we hit build? Yeah, build. Build lineups. Okay. Um, yeah, it's interesting because normally when I uh I don't I don't mess with that, it just builds it looks like it builds like one option for me. And it's like defaults to projected score or something like that. That's the way I was that's yeah. You know, you know. I'm not sure it's I, I'm not sure about, about the defaulting to projected score yeah. part of that. Um, maybe it was for sports that, you know what I mean? Maybe it's for other sports. Yeah, it could be. And I mean, there are, like, you may have a lineup that has all but one player locked in already right now tonight. Like, we're not going to find even 10 swaps. For so them. now, okay, at this point, what I would probably do is I would want to run the contest sim now, right? That is correct. And, yep. and since there's no green button, I'd have to think, Maybe is it this guy? It is that guy. Yes. And I just have to click this right now. That yep. Okay. And that's like that. Okay. So that's the Yeah, so a, a good a good time to mention. So what it, what it's doing now behind the scenes here is it's taking the live information and you can see they updated again, right? The the live column has changed again a little bit slightly here. So it's taking the live information of the game in progress. Along with the live ownership, like these, 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 yeah, this this column here. So this, like, these have continued to change okay. as we've been talking here. Um, so, so basically, pain is getting worse and worse. Pain is getting worse and worse. Yeah. As um, as, as, as as but as Giannis is getting better and better. Okay. <laughs> So it's taking into that account that live information and now also the ownership and the updated fields that we have from having the ownership, well, the actual is, ownerships from. This is actually pretty interesting because wait a minute. So 24. So why is there only like a couple of. So a con was exactly the same. Well, that game hasn't started. Oh, oh sorry. Right, right, right. Yeah. So. All right. So yeah. wait, so these, okay. So these guys are all done now. Yep. So they're all done. So now I would, I would go one at a time. Yeah go here are people usually using risk adjusted roi nowadays i am um i i think they're going to be roi and risk adjuster are going to be pretty correlated to one another so okay. i think either can be okay um and then but... i and what i like to do like you're saying maybe, maybe not in two game slates but bigger ones 
I'd like to play as many min uniques as possible until it yells at me. Um, yeah, that's great. I do that except one less than the one where it yells at you. One less. Okay. Oh, so I did this and it yelled at me because it only it yelled at you. Before. Fair, fair enough. And again, that's that's a symptom of the slate being two games. That's mostly. perfect. No, 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 that's fine. So right now I would go save two contests. I throw this into the to this guy, and I see that you you you, you fix the uh the flutter the the, the single flutter thing. Like it used yeah. to just the one flutter, and then you never heard from it again. Now you hear from it again when you do it. Yes. Again. Okay. So, uh, all right, fade away. Well, there's the one flutter, and then what I do now it says method. I just leave it on late swap. You leave it on late swap. Yep, that's what we're doing. You no, know if you have a choice. All right, then you go. Then I will go to the money ball. Yeah. Just adjust the ROI, and even though it's forty one lineups, I only have one lineup in that. Yeah. So, and, and that's another thing. It, it's going to recognize that. Basically, what it's going to do is it's going to put the best possible lineup it can into the one entry you have into this contest. Okay, so it's not going to give me a choice of unique rank, unique this, this, this. It's going to put the best one in. Okay. No, because yeah, because you only have one entry in here. So, okay, um, and then that's good. Flutters over here, and then we'll just download these and put them in. Um, the um, what was I going to say? I noticed that on, I think I noticed this, that on FanDuel, the contest sims, they don't have that same drop down stuff as DraftKings, like, like, pick, yeah. pick by the actual tournaments. That's uh, correct. So oh. all the live stuff in terms of getting in the, first of all, the live simulations for player performance, uh, and also the actual ownerships from play games that have already locked, that is currently DraftKings only. Okay. Um, all right. The data is a little bit tougher to get from from FanDuel. Is is basically the so, the so there's no now. live sims from FanDuel. Uh, there, so okay. So let me correct. So there is live, there is live it's sims. FanDuel right here. Yes. So yeah. So we do have the live player simulations. We do not have the live ownerships. Oh, I just saw the contest. Yeah. Yep. So that'll happen automatically. So. Okay, so let's may, may as well do this one while we're here. So again, we're at this spot. So wait. So I've done nothing. Yeah. I, so I if with you want to, well, if you want to keep your projections, um, you'll right. do it. So we go back to contest sim, right? Uh, uh in, in the build. Um, up here. Oh, we got to go in the build. Okay. Yep. Well, that's where we were anyway. Here. Well, right click it. I mean, I'm sorry to oh, to create the late oh, swap. Right. Okay. So late swap. Yep. And then we will do it. So, I mean, there is an interesting question here of like, how should you split up the contest for NBA in particular? I, I think it's easiest to just late swap them all together. Um, I always do that. Yeah. I think that's easier. And I, I think that's just the easiest way to do it. And okay. So now we're just here. Same stuff, right? Nothing's yep. happening. And then we'll just, before we do this, let me see the how many, right? So yeah, so again, it's going to default to ten, and ten's perfectly fine, especially if you're in a time time crunch. Um, but I prefer to just max it out. You can see here because you have fifty one lineups now, as opposed to forty one on DraftKings, you have fewer swaps per. This doesn't take very long though. Um, no, it's it. it I think it is confusing the first time you play with it. And and you're right there. The color cues are not always totally clear of like, this is the button you're supposed to be clicking. Um, but it, it is pretty fast. Once so you're... so the, the thing I was asking before is, is yeah is something I've been asking for, for, from you and the sites for like forever. Is there any way to project how much your lineup or how much your portfolio of lineups expecting to win like in money? So again, no, no, until we know what every point, everybody's lineup is. So uh, how is it then that, that so Yahoo, for example, and even FanDuel, they put up like projected score. Oh, right? okay. So yes, there is a way to see your Wait, current live projection of a lineup. Right. And what Yahoo does is translate that to money. Like Yahoo says projected winnings. Projected yeah. Winnings, and then projected winnings. I'm curious how they do that. Yeah, well, probably because um, they have all the information. Of they do, but I, I wonder if they are using that because that would reveal information to a player that they shouldn't have if they were, like, 
it, you would you would you would gather some information about your opponent's lineups purely that's based on that number that's if they true. were they were actually taking the hidden information of what everybody's lineups are. But, but once once all once like in, in a non late swap sport, you should be able to calculate it, right? Yeah, and and late swap and yeah for non late swap sports, it's calculated pretty quickly. Like for for NFL showdown, for example, locking here and you know whatever it is, twenty five minutes or so. Yeah. That sim runs pretty quickly after the game starts. And you'll be able to go in and see your expected ROI, right. your 99th percentile ROI, all it, of that it stuff. Would be a neat little feature for you, for you, but also for DraftKings, is if it did all that after everything locked and just showed you projected winnings. I think that'd be awesome. Yeah, I mean, so the other thing too, uh, did the contest sim run here? Uh, I think I did. Okay, so yeah, let's so let's sort by one of these contest metrics here. It, but don't don't jump to fill it immediately. Okay, so you see at the top of this lineup, so sim ROI. So this, this and FanDuel is a little different because we don't actually have the real entries. What are you saying? Sim. Um, so let me, so this number, oh. that is now oh. updated with the live data. Okay. So with FanDuel, we don't have the actual ownership. So it's going to be a little less accurate than it is on DraftKings. Okay. On DraftKings, we would be actually using live ownership projections, but this is this is a lineup that is probably overperforming its original right. expectation, given that it's projected for a sixteen hundred ROI. Because it has because it has no Cameron Payne. <laughs> it has no Payne, and it's got it guys no, that are all and, and no Jalen Smith. So no Jalen Smith and Miles Turner, Giannis, Bruce Brown, uh, Brandon Mathurin, like all those guys are, have had a good start here. Yeah, they haven't. Okay, all right, yeah. fair enough, fair enough. So. Um, it yeah it, it does a little bit of that and you can i mean the other thing that's kind of fun like you can see how live you are with that metric that you can after a, a, a few games into the night um so and those numbers can get kind of wacky the last monday uh i had a good night and my my sim roi on the last swap of the night in the lineup that ended up going on to win the contest had like a 180,000 expected roi because it was basically a lock to win by the time of the last late swap so yeah so that is one way to do that you can kind of see that information and yeah there also are some nights too one question that i've gotten from a lot of our users on our end is people will do this whole process they'll go through it they'll sort by roi and they'll see none of their lineups are profitable and the reason for that is sometimes when you're on that late last late swap of the night if the night went really poorly there are no profitable swaps that you can swap into at that point. So, so this one, even though it has Cameron Payne, because there's no Jalen Smith and it's got Giannis, I guess this one's still projected to be okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um. Do that. I love this. All right. So this has actually been really helpful. It's it, uh, now again. I'm going to start playing with it. Um. But. Uh, because I'm telling you, you know what we do? Like literally, you don't follow this, obviously, way too busy. But, but every single day now, mm -hmm. I'm doing videos on like early lineup builds, just yeah. using Saberson and using the contest sims and, and doing it for the express purpose of showing people the process of doing it. And I think they appreciate actually that when I fumble over it sometimes, you know, and I'm like, why, why is it not showing? God damn, what am I missing? And then I'm like, yeah. oh, I forgot again. I have forgot to load from a uh, build or something like that. I forgot to do whatever. But uh, well, and we know it's confusing. We there was a huge push on our end to get the the visual update out, then the contest sims, then the live sims, and we're going now into a little bit of a cleanup mode where we want to make everything a little clearer to use, just make it easier to get through everything. So that started with an update today that I, I posted about in the Discord earlier that just kind of improved some of the general speed and performance and things like that. And we've got more coming just to to make it all a little easier to use. Stuff, so. And while I'm here, let me just, I may as well just make sure I'm doing the the hockey stuff right, even if we're not doing the uh, the other thing. So I'm going to, uh, I want to do a late swap with the hockey. Yeah, uh, and it should be about the same. We just won't have the live sims. Yeah, I do think we still have live ownership, though. Okay, so I, I want to wait a second because it's like one minute till the eight o'clock game. Okay. So, right? I mean, I don't want to. I, I actually, I don't think, I don't know if we have the live ownership mid slate for hockey. Well, I am it. pretty sure we don't. Okay. Um, 
I don't see anything. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I mean, if you scroll over a little bit to get that my own column, it will. It would be in oh, here. Well, yeah. Okay, so we don't have the live. We don't have the live ownership for for NHL at the moment. Hey, so. Uh, so so let me. Uh, you know, I don't need. You know, I don't need to hear to do this. But uh, well, you know, I may as well. So let's uh, let's let's just for fun. Uh, Let's let's use the 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 Sabersome ownerships from now on. So let's, sure. So we don't want to reset build. So let's first we want a late swap. So let's start with late swap, right? Yep. Yeah. So that'll basically start a late swap as if it was a brand new default Saberson build. Um, right. So we'll get rid of your custom projections, your ownership. That I have, to, I have to do a little something, right? To you do you have to? Yep. Yep. So and, two changes there. And again, same thing. I never even saw this. So swaps per lineup. Yeah, and I I like personally think that number should just by default be higher than it is. So I've just been increasing it. But we'll do this. Yeah, this looks very very standard. But what this is what this sometimes does for me is if there are guys if there are guys that are out in hockey, I, I sometimes won't know it. Mm -hmm. uh, and and Saberson uh, Saberson picks it up pretty pretty nicely actually. Yeah, and we did. We were worse at keeping up with that news last year. Um, we did quite a bit of work in the off season to just make our response timing when there is late scratches in hockey a little bit faster. Um, so that that should just be a little more reliable in general. Okay, so uh, even after the late swap, so this is interesting. I keep asking you, you still have the ability to do this min unique adjustment, right? Yeah, you can. It's just more limited than it would be pre-lock. I imagine. I imagine. Um, but first, so, first we'll do the run the contest. Sims. Yeah, let's run the contest sims. Um, and real quick, open up your settings menu here. I just want to make sure all those contests are checked. Oh, right. Sometimes I forget. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, so it's so it. it's it's only going to run this round for the uh, the kick I'll save, but we can just run it again. Well, that was quick. Do it again. Yeah, one one contest. So, I'll tell you the though. You know, um, some of the uh, some of the sports build much slower than the others. Like the NF, the NFL for me, the showdown showdown takes a long time. Yeah, and the main reason for that is because so each lineup is a is an optimal for a given simulation, but we won't allow lineups to repeat themselves. So after 500 lineups have been built, well, the 501st first simulation we use, not, not only does it have to be the optimal lineup for that sim, but it can't be the same lineup as any of those other 500 lineups that are already in there. So the bigger, the more lineups in your pool, the longer your showdown lineup is going to, your showdown build is going to start to take. Same thing, MMA, tennis, like sports where you're building on sim diversity 10 and each lineup is an optimal is, is going to take a lot longer. Um, all right, let me finish this. Then I have a very, like, it's one more very basic question. It's like really like just super embarrassing. So, okay. No, this is, this one's, this one's brutal. Um, hold on. So I'm doing, let's say I do a normal build with like any, I can't even imagine what sport, but let's just look at something that hasn't started yet. So uh, set the 10th, uh, what is there? NHL or something, anything. Oh, I don't even know if we're going to have Sims for tomorrow's NHL slate yet. Yeah, Sims, okay. Uh, I just want okay. to build something, all right? How do I place a rule that I don't want to have more than 60% of any player? Before okay, we can do that. Right-click the max exposure column. Where is that? Uh, Right here. Oh, right-click this thing? Oh, yeah. Come on. And then... No, you can't right-click anything here. And this thing, I'm right-clicking. Fine. Uh, here it is. So, Wait, so no, that's not, not that didn't do what I expected though. Hold on. Oh, okay. Um, let's see. Okay, sorry. Right, now click that. this. Wait, hold on. Let me let me start over. Where am I going? Okay, so right click max exposure. This is pre build. Uh, you can do it post build as well. Okay, but okay. And now click the three line hamburger icon. And then global max exposure. Global max exposure. Yep. Oh, okay. Very good. Uh, you cannot change that positionally for the moment. It oh, is a true global. Interesting. Um, so for people that want different global 
positional exposures. What I have been recommending is just set the global max to whatever the highest global exposure you want is, and then adjust the positions after building from there. Okay. So I have one more thing that's that, that again, it's just, I, this, this thing I'm making harder on myself. Okay. I set up um, a thing that if I want to, of course, of course I can't do it, but um, where if I want to filter by um, where I want to filter lineups by, um, by geometric mean, Yes. So I set up a custom. Where's 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 the filter thing? A lineup filter. So this is this is what I did. Yeah. Um. So what I did was instead of using geometric mean, I called I set a new thing and I called it geo test. Okay. And the reason why I did that is when I click geo mean, it's not. I don't think it's doing the same thing. Like, like I, I if geo test, if I said you know. Uh, like here, what was a good example? Like, like, like these, 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 these lineups. Okay, yeah, geo mean I can tell already is does not look like it's the right metric. Geo test I, looks correct. Like geo mean is seven hundred and sixty three. So I'm like, whoa, what, what, what's going on there? So, so that I mean, I can see it from right there. That is twenty five times the ownership product. So I, did I do this? I think so. Oh, uh, I didn't mean to. Okay, no, so, no, no, that's fine. Okay. So hover over geo test instead. Well, well, I know. Uh, well, I said the geo test one is 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 right. Is correct. Okay. Yeah. So, so we can we can fix that. Um, yeah, that's what I want to do. So hold on. Let's 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 see what's going on here. So, what do I want to hover over first? Uh, well, so we already looked at geo test geo mean. Let's let's just take a look. Okay. Yeah. So geo test looks good. Yeah. So it's just the product of ownership. Um. So I mean, you could just use geo test if you want, but if you wanted to fix the metric, right? No, no, no. I I would because now because when I'm doing this. For for people, they're like, "Whoa, what's geo test and how's that different from geo mean?" I'm like, "I don't know. I just couldn't get geo mean to work the way I wanted yeah. to create this one." Okay. Okay. So these are just custom metrics that you've created here. So, so I created this. You're saying, okay. Yes. So how so if I you just open this up, like your sorting methods here. These are going to be all of your custom metrics. So uh -huh. you can now edit geo mean. So yeah. So it's the right. It's the oh, right I formula. It just has a weight. Uh, attached to it. Oh, so you so just change that back to you know one. What I did. I'll tell you what I did. So what I tried to do when I did this was I wanted to set a max geo mean of twenty five. I think got it. That's why I the weight twenty got it. That's where this came from. Okay, so just do this. Uh, it should. I wonder. I would set it to one. I don't know what it will take as a. Yeah, I don't know if it will default to one if that field's oh, empty, but oh, otherwise it's good. All right, so now let's see what what's what what's up here. Uh there you go. Okay, and there it have it. Okay, yep. there you go. Whew, all right. Uh all right, that's all I got for you. Uh thank you very much. I know you probably had like as usual, very, very long day. Yeah, no, it's a fun time of the year. It's yep. it's busy. There's a lot to lot to talk about. So yep, and uh I will uh I will catch up to you soon. All right, sounds good. See ya.